the things that we've been hearing about Chico and the Man is that when the network tested it before audiences mm -hmm. and the audiences had a chance to say how they felt about it, that this program, Chico and the Man, rated as high in audience appeal as Sanford and Son. That's right. It was quite shocking. It really was. The first uh, time that it went out and tested it, they tested it in New York and Los Angeles and, <coughs> excuse me, in um, cable system testing in the homes. And they were shocked to find that it, that it rated as high as Sanford and Son, which is the highest testing pilot NBC has ever had in the last five years. Yes. Then they figured, well, maybe it's because it's in the largest cities and on the East Coast and West Coast, uh, where they can identify more with that kind of humor that we're trying to do. They put it in the middle of the country and tested it in 30 other cities, and it went through the roof. For some reason, everybody loves it. Yes. And it's amazing, because the show uh, generically deals with an old crotchety wasp that's white Anglo-Saxon Protestant, played by <laughs> Jack Albertson, who's an adorable old grouch, and into his life comes a young Chicano. And a Chicano is an American of Mexican descent. We normally refer to as Mexican-Americans. Actually, they're American young people in this country who just have Mexican backgrounds, and they call themselves Chicanos. And there are about 12 million of them in the United States, spread all over. But the largest concentration is here in my hometown, Los Angeles. And um, a lot of people thought, well, you're doing something very secular, very localized, and who would care about it in the middle of the country? But it proves that love and relationships and comedy transcend um, localized little thinking. People in the middle of the country absolutely fall down from the show, and I've seen them see it. Now, a lot of people already, critics, are starting to say it's a Chicano, Sanford, and Son. Do you resent that kind of comparison, James? No. No, I don't. It's the easiest way to identify. Well, what are you watching? If I sit here and say, well, you can't describe an old man who has decided to pass on life and check out because he's old and the world is bad and his wife has left him, and into his life comes a vibrant young kid looking to pull him back in the world and enjoy himself and go to movies. That sounds like, yeah, it's fascinating what he said, but what is it? You say it's Sanford and Son in brown face. <laughs> Spanish version. But when you tune in, you won't see it. As a matter of fact, we follow Sanford and Son. So if there really was a, a, a comparison, it would be so obvious, and it isn't. Sure, it's an old man and a young man. I really, in my heart, think it's the courtship of Eddie's father. It's an old man and a young man, the same as courtship was, which I did. Yes, I know that you did. And I interviewed um, uh, Bill Bixby last year. And Fantastic. He, yes, and he told me that that was the most beautiful child-adult relationship that he had ever seen portrayed mm -hmm. any place, and not just because he did it, mm -hmm. but that it just was such a beautiful relationship. Yeah, we worked very hard on that show and loved it. It was an absolute love affair. I was in the show. I don't know if you know that, but some of your viewers are going to say, what's under that mustache? And I played the part of Norman Tinker, Bill Bixby's close friend, the photographer. Ah. In the courtship. Yes. Ah. Mm -hmm. You have changed your appearance. Yes, yes. Since then. I've been hiding. <laughs> I don't want to act anymore, and I want to produce. Because I wrote, produced, and directed Eddie's father. Yes. And um, it was a big thrill for me. And I really loved it, and of course, also acted in it. And a lot of people didn't know I did all of that, so they'd address me as an actor in one level. Then I'd go back to work. I was the producer. In this show, Chico and the Man, my goal is to just produce it. I've created it. I want to see it go, and then sort of like hide out a little bit. Also, I grew the mustache so I could look a little Spanish. I tell them about looking Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> I get free, free dinners in Chinese. No, I, I thought you, you looked kind of like Willie Joe Namath. <laughs> oh, that's not bad. <laughs> or is it Joe Willie? I never can remember. <laughs> anyway, um, one of the things, of course, that people are also talking about, Chico and the Man, is that this new fellow, Freddie Prince, is going to be a big, big star. He's, he's dynamite. He's been in the business about 20 minutes, I think. <laughs> I, I, actually, he's been in, I think it's a year. A year about now. Yes. And he is the best stand-up nightclub comedian I've seen in the last 20 years, which I used to do. I was a nightclub comedian. I've worked at the Rodolphus Hotel. I've worked at the Tidelands. I've worked in a lot of places in Texas. Uh, and I certainly understand comics. He's the best. And then we brought him in the show to act. He is a dynamite actor. Now, you saw him on The Tonight Show. That's right. how you discovered him. That's how I discovered him. him. All right. And the minute you saw him, you said, that's Chico? Or did you just say, I'd like to test him? No, I took a look at him. I watched a little bit. And he started talking about some guy in his neighborhood. And he turns around and says, hey, that's not my job, man. And I said, that's Chico. Isn't that? That's Chico. Isn't that terrific? Now I took him out and tested him. I, I auditioned the entire barrio community, the Chicanos here in Los Angeles, and then we sent word to New York for the other Lat Latinos. It's a big problem because Chicanos are Chicanos. They're not Puerto Ricans. They are not uh, Hispanics. They are, they are Chicanos, and I understand that. We live with that, and our goal was to 
really searching the community for it. In the end, um, we tested Freddie and a boy named Isaac Ruiz and a man named Lázaro Perez. And we tested them because in final analysis, it's cruel of us to be involved in ethnics, because I'm not prejudiced or bigoted, certainly. I wouldn't touch the show if I were. And we looked and we said, who's got the best chemistry to work with Jack Albertson? Turned out to be Freddie Prinz. And the second contestant, Isaac Ruiz, just worked last night for us. And he was dynamite. And he's going to get a running part in the series. That's just And it's, um, it's marvelous. And in your area, by the way, I just, it, you know, it suddenly came to me, because uh, you do have an enormous Chicano population. Indeed we do. Indeed we do. And um, their day has come. Very good. James, we've enjoyed this opportunity to talk with you, and we wish you continued success, and particularly with Chico and Man. Thank you very much. Nice being here. Ciao.